went he went back into the world. He just he turned his back on it, man. I mean he he bugged out, man. Like he don't eat. Like if he eat, he he like he take like stuff to flush it out his body. Like he's seen he's mad skinny now. He's into that melanin doctrine where you sit out in the sun all day to get black. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to grow dreads again and Shalom, it's the brother out of Tazawamia, right? Now let's get this out the way. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. He got a tattoo right there. Uh, Finish him. Tats right there. Oh, god damn. He got two right there. Oh, shit. This nigga got up to his damn shoulder. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, it's on his damn neck, bro. Oh, shit. It's on his bicep. What the fuck? That's on his, on his own forearm? Oh shit, all oh, on his hands. Finish him. Right, and that's what y'all trying to do. Y'all trying to slander me, but nothing's sticking. Nothing's sticking. Why? Because what I said was on point. And y'all just want to pick and choose. So I got all that shit out the way. And from now on, that's how I'm going inter inter to introduce my videos now. Because all my tattoos are visual, uh, visible. I'm not hiding anything. I'm not hiding anything, but I did that for a reason, to prove that you niggas ain't right, Finish him. right, because here it is, you judging according to the appearance, and, and not true judgment, but that's cool, but you fill up the measure of your father, so y'all want to see me destroyed or dead, you pray curses and death on me, awesome, just know that whatever you put out, that's what you're going to get back, you root what you sow, so if I was you, I wouldn't be doing all that because the Lord talked contrary to that. But you you don't know the Lord, so that's cool. So with that, I say Shalom. Until you hate us. Until you hate us. You wish. You wish. You. I know what it was. Y'all niggas wish y'all had something like this. Hey, T God, Tahar. You know, if you you supposed to be the father now, the Pope, because that's what Pope means, father. Right, if you the father of GMS and of Israel, then maybe you need to get you some Pope rings. You understand? Some Pope rings, and these real and they solid. And y'all niggas, some haters, stop hating. Get like your man. Finish him. Right, Shalom. I'm the last one. These are all new brothers right here. All right, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter ten, verse twelve. And it reads, the beginning of pride is, is is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his maker. All right. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rokar Kadash. All right. Double honor to my apostles and others, a great millstone who ruled well and told me the truth. And shalom to all the words out there through the four comes of the earth, pushing his word and our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. It's Brother Kazapa from Jim S. Riley, North Carolina. Coming back with another quick lesson. Uh, the Spirit of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And this is just going to be a response, as you see in the title, to, um, you know, don't be finished like Malak Shar. Okay. You know, and um, through the Spirit of reason I'm speaking on this is that, uh, is uh if you see the video um um the original video um you actually see me in the background you know um i was once a part of the uh, gms uh charlotte camp you know um but i ended up moving now i'm a part of a uh, gms um uh, riley camp and everything but um you know i actually personally knew this man okay you know just like the brothers in charlotte man we personally knew this man and and seeing how the lord you know uh uh is greatly to be feared man okay all right because he could take the holy spirit away from you like that man all right and you end up like this dude you know getting tattoos you know uh uh you know you know uh blaspheming you know just doing all types of things man all right that's against the scriptures talking bad about the men who taught him okay you know showing no respect okay and this is all done through pride you know through the spirit of pride i've been doing lessons about humility man and the actions towards it man okay all right, well, she shows no um, form of being humble, man. Okay, all right. Um, so I'm gonna read the scripture again. This is a this is a Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha. All right, which is a part of the Bible. All right, chapter ten, verse twelve, and it reads: The beginning 
of pride, all right, so where pride begins, okay, it says is when is when one departed from the most high, all right, and that's how you see, we'll see what happened unto this man, all right, he departed from the ways and instructions of Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, getting tattoos, you know, this is clear cut in the scriptures not to, uh, uh, you know, maul your beard or put any cuttings in your flesh, you know, all right, but this man, you know, is doing the opposite of it, man, okay, all right, this is, uh, I'm going to read it again, it says, for it says, uh, for the beginning, sucky. This is the beginning of pride. Is when one departed from the Most High, Yahweh Bashimel Shai, and his heart, which go back to the Hebrew word La, which means your mind. All right, your mind. Okay, so it says I replace that word heart with mind. It says, and his mind is turned away from his Maker. All right, and that's what see, that's what happened to this man. All right. His mind, all right, was turned away from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. That's why he's getting tattoos, man. All right, this is why he's doing, indulging, and, and disrespecting the men of the Lord, all right, which is the opposite of humility, man. Okay, when you go into that word humble, it means to, to be uh, submissive, to show respect, to be lowly in manner, okay, to not be self asserting, all right, and ultimately to be obedient to the will of the Heavenly Father, man, all right? Which the will of Yahweh by Shema Shai is his law, statutes, and commandments is written in the Bible, which is that true love, man, all right? He said he might love Yahweh by Shema Shai. He might call on the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai, but he truly doesn't love Yahweh by Shema Shai. Why? He doesn't keep the commandments. One of the commandments is not to get tattoos, man, all right? What we're going to show you in Scripture is what love is according to, it's according to the Bible, all right? And he said in the video that Every time he opens up, he's the his videos. He's gonna flex off his tattoos and and his rings, man. He's showing you that pride, man. Thinking highly of oneself. All right, that's what the definition of pride or being prideful is. Okay, he thinks highly of what he really is, man. Okay. Um. <clears throat> let's see. Here it is. This is a. Yep, here it is. This is um This is a uh, first John chapter two verse three. It says it's like a verse four. He says, He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments, he is is a is a liar. Kind. This man's a liar. Alright. He says that he knows you how about Shimao Shai, he uses the names of Yahweh by Shimao Shai, say that he knows the Lord. All right, but ultimately he doesn't. In the video, he says that he knows the Lord, man. You don't. You're a liar. Cause why? You don't keep the commandments, man. One of the commandments is not to get a tattoo, man. Okay, not the uh, uh, Mari beard. You know, it's a commandment not to <clears throat> um, speak any um, ill things about you know the men of the Lord. All right, which starting are the men of the Lord is starting off with apostles and elders, a great millstone, and the men on down that teach the same. Um, you know. Uh, Doctrine according to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay, you know, this man does not, he, he doesn't, he doesn't love Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay, he doesn't know Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. <clears throat> I'm gonna read again. This is First John chapter 2, verse 4. It says, He that saith, I know him and keep not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Kind. All right, this man has no truth within him. Malak Shar. You know, all right, you know, uh, uh, <clears throat> at the time, you know, right now he's just being a nigga, okay, all right, but his, uh, uh, his, uh, Hebrew name was, uh, Atazawamya, okay, you know, <laughs> and right now, you know, the only thing he's being mighty with, he's being mighty with sin, man, okay, all right, he's being mighty in the works of Satan, man, okay, all right, and not in the will of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, you wouldn't be getting tattoos, man. All right, you wouldn't be talking junk about the men of the Lord. And ultimately, you wouldn't have any pride, man. All right, all right, which we just read in the scriptures and the Sirach. All right, that's the beginning of pride is when you turn away from your maker, man. All right, which is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability is how you uh, show reverence to your how by Shema Shai, how you worship your how by Shema Shai and show that you love him and fear him, man. Okay? All right, it says, um... <clears throat> 
verse five. He said, "But whoso keepeth his his word, in him verily is the love of the Most High perfected, whereby whereby know we that we are in him." Kind. Okay. All right. So that's how you know you love your Hawba Shai is he, if you keep his sayings, man. All right. If you keep his words, his his instructions. All right. His instructions. What? They're not getting no damn tattoos, man. Okay. And now, if you already had some, which he had a, you know, a few, uh, before he came into the uh, truth, you know, but you're not supposed to do those things. You're supposed to refrain from that, man. Become a whole new creature, as the scriptures say, man. Okay. All right. But now this man has, as scriptures say, gone back to his vomit, man. All right. A dog being returned back to his vomit, and it's terrible because he still thinks he's a part of this truth, man. Okay. All right. He still thinks he's in the truth, man. All right. This is a. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go jump up to verse three. This is a uh, First John chapter two verse three. It says, "And hereby we know, <clears throat> so and hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. Kind, if we keep the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Shem Shah, we know that we know him, man. Okay, but this man clearly does not know Yahweh Shem Shah not anymore. Okay, all right, because why? Pride crept in, all right, and he departed from. Pleasing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, let's see. There's a main thing, main scripture that this man is doing. All right. And as brothers in Raleigh, we always get this scripture. It's like the main scripture that we always get. This is uh, Proverbs 3. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to start at verse 5. And it reads, Trust in Yahweh with all thy heart, all thy mind. Hebrew word heart goes back to your mind. All right, with all your mind, trust in Yahweh by Shema Shai. This man has departed from Yahweh by Shema All right, his his mind has departed from his Maker, man. Okay, all right. The Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay, it says, and lean not. I'm gonna read that again. And lean not. Lean not unto thy own understanding. All right, and this man is leaning unto his own understanding, man. Okay? You know, this, this is an example from Yahweh Bashim al not to be, man. All right, and we all need to pray to Yahweh Bashim al does he that he does not take his Holy Spirit away from us, man. All right? Because the Holy Spirit was stripped from this man. All right? And this is what happens, man. All right? Why? Because he started to become prideful. All right? He didn't repent for... Even having an ounce of pride within him, man. Okay, all right. These are the reasons you about Shema Shai is going to destroy this man. Okay, you know, you know, if he doesn't repent, you know, all right. But right now we see this man is very far gone, man. All right, you know, and we don't want to be like this man. Okay, as, as you see him on the screen. All right, this is Malak Shar. Do not be finished like this man. Okay, all right. Pray unto you about Shema Shai that he does not give you that spirit of pride, man. Okay. Because that pride, scriptures say, go for destruction, man. Okay? <clears throat> Let's see. Um, matter of fact, let me see if I can find that real fast. That scripture. That's a heavy one. Um, Like I can just bear with me really fast. I'm trying to look for it. That real fast. <clears throat> this is okay. this is Proverbs chapter eight, verse thirteen. And it says, "The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil. Pride 
and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward, which means perverse, for mouth do I hate. All right, so Yahweh Bashim Shai hates all these things. And if you have the fear of the Lord, which is wisdom, Job 28 and 28 says that, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, which this man has no wisdom, man, okay? If he had any wisdom, he would hate pride and arrogancy. You just see the pride and arrogancy off this man's face, man. This is the way that we not ought to be, man, all right? We ought to be humble and meek before the presence of Yahweh Bashim Shai, shamefaced it, man, but in the presence of Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay? All right, we are nothing, okay? And this man thinks himself of to be something, man. And the scriptures talk speak against that, man, okay? Because this man, uh, as scripture says, is deceiving himself, okay? This is uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. If a man think himself to be something, which this man does, all right? You know, calling the, you know, uh, the elder apostle Tahar, you know, uh, 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 T-God, you know, which is uh, very disrespectful, okay? All right? You have no humility, man, okay? No, you have no respect, man, okay? All right? And you think yourself to be something, okay? It says, if, for if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, and right now you see this man is nothing, all right? How about Shema Shai stripped the spirit away from him, okay? So he's nothing. He thinks himself to be something, okay? All right? It says, he deceiveth himself. All right, so he's de he's deceived him own self, man. You know why? Because he leaned upon his own understanding, man. All right, pride crept in, and he didn't rebuke that demon. All right, and he's departing from his maker, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, all right. Now let me see if I can see Proverbs eight, uh, four and twenty-four. <clears throat> Could get this. This is a book of Proverbs, chapter 4. Let's see. Yeah. Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 24. Put away from, put, it says, put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips put far from thee. Let thy eyes look right on and let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder, it says, ponder the path of thy feet. And let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy feet from evil. And he did not, man. Right? <clears throat> he's not. He didn't even ponder or think or meditate on what the deeds that he's done, man. Okay. All right. You know, he's not, he did not actually how about Shimon Shai to pit a forward, which means a perverse mind. All right. It's somebody who's a pervert. When you look into the entomology of it, Akim, you know, is someone who's forsaken the true way. Okay, all right. Like I said in uh, Sarat, he's <laughs> he's forsaken or departed from Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, man. All right, all right. So this is where the, where the beginning of his pride came in, man. Okay. Now I'm gonna quickly read. He will go back to the book of Sarat, chapter ten, verse uh, thirteen. It says. For pride is the beginning of sin. All right. So the beginning of pride is when you turn away from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, which is going to be the beginning of sin. Okay. You going off, breaking the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible, man. Okay. It says, um, it says, this is a Sarat chapter 10, verse 13. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that have it. So if you have pride, all right, it says, shall pour out abominations, and therefore Yahweh by Shemuel Shai shall bring upon them strange calamities and overthrow them utterly. So that's his future judgment, man, okay? All right, when pride creeps in, you pour out abominations, okay? And and Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is going to bring very strange calamities and overthrow you completely, man, okay? You know, he's going to completely destroy you, man, because you have pride and you turned away from him and his will, man. And this is a this is a warning to myself and to other brothers how not to be, man. OK, fear you how about you, man, with all thy heart and all thy mind. 
All right, and lean not upon thy own understanding. Trust in Yahweh by Shema Shai. All right, show that you love Yahweh by Shema Shai, and you fear him by keeping his commandments, man. Okay, all right, and I'm going to get the last scripture. This is the last scripture I want to get through the Spirit. Because he, he forgot his whole duty as being an Israelite, man. Okay, as being an Israelite man, he forgot his whole duty as uh, why he's placed upon this earth. Okay, and remember when pride creeps in, you depart from your maker. You pour out sins, man. Okay, all right. About you pour out abominations. Okay, meaning you're not hearkening unto the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay, this is a uh, Ecclesiastes in the Bible. Okay, um, chapter twelve, verse uh, thirteen, and it reads, "Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter." All right. So, being the Israelite man, let's hear the conclusion of all this, man. Of, of all this madness that we see, let's hear the whole conclusion of why you, us Israelite men are supposed to be on this planet Earth, man. Okay? All right? How we're supposed to act and conduct ourselves, man. Okay? It says, Fear Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All right? Which this man ha does not have the fear in him anymore. Okay? He, he does not have that fear. Okay? All right? Or he would be doing what the Lord delighted in, man. Okay? Which is preaching his word and keep... Um, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, man. Okay, all right. Not having pride, all right. And through the pride, he departed from Yahweh by Shimei Shai. It says, "And keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man." All right, and that is our duty, man. To fear Yahweh by Shimei Shai and keep his commandments, A.K.A. obedience. Okay, all right. Obedience unto Yahweh by Shimei Shai. And this man is being very disobedient, getting tattoos, being disrespectful to the men of the Lord, all right, who taught him, you know, and all, and, and all man, okay? All right, this is an example of how not to be Akim. So, you know, uh, hey, man, you know, hope Akim are, you know, taking this in, you know, uh, same with myself. Hey, man, don't be prideful, all right, and, and be humble and meek before the presence of Yahweh by Shema Shah, the Lord will take his Holy Spirit apart from you. Okay, so with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukakadash. Double honors to my apostles, elders, a great millstone who ruled well and told me the truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing His word and righteousness necessary to the elect of the nation of Israel. Until next time, shalom.